are so pleased to have as our guest today here on Daryl Miller Live a real winner. Dr. Andre Rollins, the PLP's member of Parliament elect for Fort Charlotte. Dr. Andre Rollins, welcome to our show. Uh, thank you, Mr. Miller, for enabling me to be present here with you this morning and to dialogue with you and reach out to the many Bahamians who listen to your show every morning. Uh, good morning, Bahamas, and um, I'm very happy to to know that we are under a new government that is committed to doing as much as we can to invest in the Bahamas and to invest in Bahamians. Are you ready for your swearing in day after tomorrow? Absolutely, I am, and uh, I am looking forward to the uh, awesome opportunity to use the platform that all members of parliament have to speak to the issues confronting so many Bahamians. I think that um, there are great expectations for the uh, PLP, in particular for the new generation leaders of the PLP. Persons would like to see more of us to um, test our mettle, so to speak, to know whether it is that we are something that uh, will live, or, or persons who will live up to the expectations of the Bahamian public. We are definitely uh, a very impressive grouping of young men and women to go along with the senior statesmen of the party. And I think that, uh, as you've noted with Mr. Christie's appointments to his cabinet and other appointments that will be forthcoming, he has definitely lived up to his promise to create opportunities for the new and next generation leaders to uh, take on responsibilities that will enable us all to demonstrate our uh, worth to the party and ability to take on greater responsibilities in the future for the PLP and uh, for the Bahamas. We note with interest the final three senators who have been appointed and these appointments came about after the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition consulted. And these last three, so the Senate is, is, is up to its full complement now, and these last three, presumably independent thinking senators, are former Magistrate Sharon Wilson, businessman or business consultant Joseph Curry and former diplomat Cheryl Bazard, an attorney. You know them well. I know, I know all of them uh, fairly well, yes sir. I would say that, um, as you note, uh, noted, these last three appointments required uh, the Prime Minister to consult with the uh, Leader of the Opposition. And um, it takes our compliment in the Senate or the Upper House to a total of 12 persons. The fact of the matter is that Mr. Christie has done a fantastic job of creating uh, more representation for women. Um, Mrs. Wilson is a very well-known and respected attorney, uh, the principal of Sharon Wilson & Co., former president of the Senate. She also played a very instrumental role in the uh, compilation of the Charter for Governance, uh, working along with uh, a team of persons who received the input from the candidates and many other stakeholders in the country in the, in the various sectors to be able to put that very comprehensive document together. Uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Cheryl Bazard is a, uh, a very well respected attorney whose uh, expertise is in the area of uh, um, risk um, or compliance I should say um, and she's formerly affiliated with the um, 
uh, financial services sector, actually still is. Um, so another woman there who is extremely uh, capable. And then you have Mr. Joe Curry, who is now the acting treasurer for the Progressive Liberal Party, who was very involved in the PLP's war room, the public relations arm. So he gets a reward for helping the party win. Um, I mean, I cannot begin to tell you how hard he worked. Uh, very long hours, sending emails out at 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, so he's very organized. So this is his reward? Well, yes. And, and, and rightly so. You have not been rewarded, Andre Rollins. <laughs> I have been. You have not gotten, well, who I, won your seat? And I thank the Bahamian people, the people of Fort Charlotte, for being so kind in giving me the opportunity to represent them. I have been rewarded. Absolutely. That's enough reward for you. Absolutely. Which means if you get nothing else, you're going to sit on the back bench. Which uh, I've told my leader many times during the course of the campaign that I was eager to be a backbencher, to, um, to learn the various roles of a member of parliament. I think it's a, it's, it's a great opportunity to, um, to be a backbencher because you have an opportunity to focus on the entire picture, whereas m many of my colleagues who, uh, and I'm very happy for them, who've been given an opportunity to be cabinet ministers, they are going to be very consumed 